Rule number 82. Clauses introduced by posquam, ubi, ut, and simul atque have a verb in the indicative mood. We're in the midst of rules talking about clauses, and this rule discusses clauses that relate to time, the so-called temporal clauses. Our particles are posquam, which means after or when, ubi meaning when, although ubi can also mean where when used in questions, ut when it means as or when, although ut can also take on different meanings to introduce clauses that take the subjunctive, so see rules 77 or 80 for discussions on purpose and result clauses, and simul atque, which means as soon as. So, milites posquam victoriam adepti sunt, discesserunt, the soldiers, after they obtained victory, left. The deponent verb in the time clause introduced by posquam, so that's adepti sunt, is in the indicative mood. And this one is from Sallust. Catalina, ubi eos convenisse widet, se cadet. Catiline, that revolutionary who opposed Cicero, when he sees that they have convened, withdrew. And note, by the way, that the subject of the main verb, if it's the same as the subject in our postquam or ubi clause, often will come first before the clause rather than inside it. So even though we see a sentence like eo postquam caesar per venit, obsides paposcit, so after Caesar arrived there, he demanded hostages, the more usual word order in Latin would be caesar postquam eo per venit, obsides paposcit. But take that more natural with a grain of salt when reading. Here's one with simul atque and an indicative verb. Simul atque introductus est rem confecit. As soon as he was brought in, he completed the task. Not only is the verb in all of these examples in the indicative mood, but it's almost always going to be in the perfect tense, like introductus est, a perfect passive form. Or in our example about Catiline, it's going to be in the present tense, but with a past sense. So if we revisit that example, you'll note that the main verb secated is in the perfect tense, reinforcing the historical present nature of widet. When the imperfect tense is used, it's to show a past state of things rather than an action. So, posquam structi stavant, duces in medium procedunt. When they stood in order, the leaders advanced into the middle. Our imperfect stavant shows a state of things, here the state of the soldiers. And the pluperfect tense, on the other hand, is used to show a past completed action, as it typically does. Ubi pericula virtute propulerant, Amicis auxilia portabant. When they had driven away danger with their courage or virtue, they were bringing their friends help. Our pluperfect propulerant shows an action that is already completed by the time they brought help to their friends. So, along with postquam, ubi, ut, and simul atque, we also see posteaquam, literally after that, but after is cleaner. Ut primum and ut semel. Simul ac, or just simul by itself, all meaning as soon as. So this same rule applies to this example from Caesar, describing his invasion of Britannia when his own soldiers were struggling to get onto the land. Nostri simul in arido constiterunt, in hostes in petum fecerunt. Our men, as soon as they stood on dry ground, made an attack against the enemy. And you'll note the perfect indicative constiterunt, is entirely consistent with this rule. So this has been rule number 82. Clauses introduced by posquam, ubi, ut, and simul atque have a verb in the indicative mood.